a little behind getting this video to you, so I think it's the perfect time to talk about the energetics of procrastination. Welcome to Energetically Speaking, a place where we talk about all things energetics. I'm Jamie, I'm an intuitive and energy healer, and I'm here to help you shift your energy, raise your vibration, and reach your highest potential. You can learn more about me at onesourcehealing.com. Today we're talking about procrastination and the energetics behind it. How many times have you found yourself with a big item on your to-do list, something you really need to get done, only you have shifted into this place of avoidance where you're scrolling through your phone for hours or cleaning the driveway rather than actually sitting down and getting that thing done? Well, you're not alone. Several years ago, I had the idea to write a novel and I was really busy working and being a single parent at that time. And I just didn't have a lot of time in my schedule to get it done, but I was committed. And so I carved out early mornings and evenings and any time I could to sit down and write at least a thousand words a day and tackle that big novel I had in my head. Well, it took me seven years to get it done. And a big reason for that was, you guessed it, procrastination. Energetically speaking, procrastination is a holding pattern. By avoiding what we have to do, we keep our energy exactly where it is, thus avoiding change and the unknown. But the truth of the matter is that the energy created to get this thing done has to flow somewhere. And that's why we often find ourselves focused on other tasks rather than the one that really needs to get done. It's truly amazing how much energy goes into procrastination and not doing something rather than just focusing in and getting it done. So how do we redirect the energy and get us out of a pattern of procrastination? Well, here's a little bit about the energetics behind the procrastination pattern. First is, it may be a bad habit. If phrases like, I don't want to do this right now, or I'm going to work on that later or second nature to you, it's likely a habit of procrastination that's holding you back. So pay attention to those thoughts when they creep into your mind. And when you feel like procrastinating, don't give in to them. Focus on spending at least a few minutes to get this very important thing done. Is your procrastination fear-based? Sometimes we avoid doing that big thing because we fear what the outcome will be. Fear of success, fear of failure, fear of making a mistake. Any one or all of these fears can shift us into a pattern of procrastination. Is it a timing issue? There are times when the energetics of procrastination are simply about timing, especially when we're doing something that our soul really desires like writing a novel or turning a passion project into a business. Sometimes we need a way to be inspired. A good place to start here is to think about things you enjoyed as a kid. I know that sounds rather interesting, but it really will shift you into a place of joy. Coloring, <laughs> playing with Play-Doh, anything that you really enjoyed as a kid is gonna open up your joy to receiving inspiration and that can really shift you into a place of action where inspiration is concerned. Do you even want to be doing this thing in the first place? Sometimes we're doing things because we're looking for outside validation. We want our parents to be proud, our coworkers to admire us, our partner to fully see us. We want to be loved, admired, and appreciated. Are you really doing it for you or are you doing this because you're looking for outside validation? that it may be time to just mark this thing off your list and move on. So now that we know about the energetic patterns of procrastination, what can we do to shift to a place of action and get out of this energetic loop? Well, here are some of the tactics I use and I'm gonna pass them on to you now. First, write down your project. Put pen to paper and write down what it is that you want to accomplish. Next, examine the time available to you. This is where you really get into your calendar. When can you find time to get this thing done? Break down your project into small steps. Look at the time you have available to you and then carve out time to take small steps each day 
to get your momentum going. From the time that you have available to you and all the small steps you need to take to get this thing done, that's when you set your deadline, not before. So you really wanna look at those two things together and assign a realistic deadline for yourself. Don't make this thing too tight, especially if you have a really busy schedule. In fact, you may wanna add time on to make sure that you can actually get it done in the time that you're assigning. So set a realistic deadline and then stick to it. Get rid of those distractions. Turn off the TV, log out of your apps, do whatever is necessary to focus on what needs to get done. And what I really recommend is setting a timer, getting to work for 25 minutes, and then take a five minute break. And then another 25 minutes and a five minute break and so on. And that can really um, assign some time to this thing, give you a break and set you in a place of action and getting things done. Finally, don't forget to reward yourself when you reach big milestones like a third of your novel or halfway through your to-do list. Well then, do something you really enjoy. This will help you see that the action is worth it. The urge to put things off and procrastinate can be really strong at times, especially with all the fun and entertaining distractions in the world not to mention our fears lurking in the shadows. But I promise you, if you can shift out of the energetic pattern of procrastination, you're gonna go from dreaming about that thing to living your dream in no time. I'll see you next time.